Have you ever wondered how the rich people live on Koh Samui? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tour you through three pimped out pads that are all for sale. I'll tell you how much they cost, and man, they're funky. I can't wait to see them, but first, I've, I've enlisted the help of my good old friend, Andrew Farmer, who's gonna show us through. He told me to meet him by the two elephants. Andrew. Hi, Chris. Where are we? Welcome to Tallingham. We're standing outside the elephant gates here in the sleepy south of Koh Samui. All right, we're gonna do an area description later. I want to get right to the first villa. Okay, let's go. So we're at the first house here and Andrew, I'm when I when I see this, it's like I've been coming here 25 years, but the new style of villas that I'm seeing be developed, man, like it's uh, pretty impressive. What's going on here? Yeah, I really like it. This is the first time I visited as well, but it's a young a uh, handsome fella that I met who's been developing properties around the world, catering to the young jet set. He's got a place in Tulum, Mexico. He's got a place in Ibiza, Spain. And as you can see, when we look around here, it's very well decorated. It's wired for sound. Instagrammable places. Instagrammable places. Hey, you're too old for Instagram, my friend. I got to say, I've known this guy for how long? Over 32 30, years, 30, 30, 32 years. Yeah. years. We'll tell you the story of how we met, but let's let's save that for another video. But like he was saying, this place is built by a guy, a young developer, who's done this in like worldwide hotspots. So it excites me as a Thailand lover, as a Samui lover, to know that this quality of developer is now finding Samui, touching down, grabbing villas like this, doing them up in a style that a lot of you out there I'm sure would love. I'm excited to see the inside, so let's just tour through. Okay, so this is a pad that I think you could define as ballin'. And I'm gonna give you a link. I just met the guy who uh, owns it and he's gonna leave a link for his Instagram, which has his other properties, the ones in Ibiza and Tulum. Go check those out. I wanna see them for myself. And also a link on what it would be to rent this place. He's happy to keep it and rent it out. So I'll leave an Airbnb link. We can all see how much it is. That changes based on the time of the year. But we got the man here who'll tell us how much it would be to buy the place. Okay. How much would it cost for this pimped out pad, man? Talk to me for the monthly or long-term listing. And if you do have 20 million Thai bot, he would also sell this wonderful villa to you. So 20 million Thai bot, some rough math. That's about 600,000 and change. Right. You know what? I'll put a text up of the number right here. And I want to hear more about the neighborhood. But to do that, you're going to have to go sit in that Instagram heart chair. Oh, yeah. That's I got. I got that. <sighs> well, here we are in the sleepy south of the island. Lots of rolling hills and valleys, little shops, a couple of nice temples. Couple of five-star hotels, really chill. Good place to spend time, isn't Enough it? Enough of that, man. Let's go see house number two. Sure. So we're arriving here at house number two, and right away, man, this place looks different. Like, what's the deal with this place? That's funky. So this is a really special place to Chris and I. Uh, this is our good friend, Hugh. He developed this whole hill, and this is his personal house on the top. It's a five-bedroom house, and you'll notice uh, some very striking architecture. 
This is inspired by his work designing airports, of one of them being Hong Kong Airport. So we've got an outdoor sala here for sitting and taking a look at the five islands. So Hugh built this place as part of a development, but this is like one of those contractors kept the, the their, their own special spot type place. Yeah, he put a lot of heart into this. It's called Quartz House. Five bedrooms, five bathrooms, split over three levels. You can tell that this place has been made uh, by someone that's taking nature and great design into account. Does it come with appliances? Does it come with furniture? Yeah, it's a turnkey sale. Everything in this building is comes with the sale. So it's ready to operate as a private residence or an Airbnb, whatever the owner wanted to do. You guys know me, I love the indoor outdoor living and look at this. Here we are outdoors. There's Andrew there. This gorgeous pavilion. The views are absolutely phenomenal. This is the crazy designer kitchen. Go inside, you got a bathroom here. Then next thing you know, you're outdoors on this side with yet another view. There's little seating areas all over the place. This is like a property that you could enjoy in so many different ways. Now, look, back inside a bedroom here, everything surrounded by green. Hugh, who built this house, is a nature lover, and it shows as you walk through every area of this house, there's a different, unique view. I'd say it's 360 degree views, and <laughs> it's pretty wild up here. I could stay here for weeks on end with all those little places to sit. Hey, but you said there was like five bedrooms? Yeah, come on downstairs. We got more bedrooms and other places to sit. So as we said, it's called Quartz House. And as you can see, the house is cut out of quartz. Blends in well for a tiered look. Check this out. Like this is all natural giant Samui stones. And oh, look at this. Man, it just goes on and on. So this is like an entire other lounge living level. Look at this place. I think we've had a nice party here in the past, Chris, if you recall from a couple of New Year's ago. We're not gonna talk about that party, Andrew. Okay, back to the real estate tour. Quartz House truly is an entertainer's delight. As you can see, a fully contained, self-sufficient kitchen and lounge. If you look over to the side, multiple entrances to the different levels and different views from each of the different terraces. I don't know what's more impressive about this place, the views or the actual design. Here's another bedroom, super funky. Look, it built right into that natural stone over there. Really gorgeous. Back outdoors snaking around what is the second level here into, oh, I see another bedroom, but look, there's a little desk. Look at this. Amazing. Everything's like built right into Samui. Oh, and there's Andrew and look at this bedroom. Dude, this place is crazy. It just keeps, really, there's more? There's another level right down there to the left. Down to the lower level. And Andrew, the funkification continues. What is this? Hey, we've got uh, some heavy bags for the whole family. One for Junior, one for Mom, and one for Dad. Oh, shout out to Super Pro. We got two more bedrooms downstairs. This one has some bunk beds, and it's cut right into that Samui quartz again. All right, Andrew, the question everyone's been waiting for, how much does this place cost? Okay, Chris, well, you can get quartz house, five bedrooms, five bathrooms. 900 square meters of living space, 8,000 square meters of outdoor space, including the gardens and the roads. You can sit in this jacuzzi, enjoy the view of the Five Island Estates for 40 million Thai baht. What's happened with prices since the pandemic over here? Um, you will notice this house featured in the real estate section of the New York Times in March of last year, listed at 1.6 million. So because of the fluctuation of the US dollar, 
and the Thai bot, your uh, buying power goes a lot more nowadays than it did before. So that's an important note. Uh, in the past couple of years, the Thai bot has weakened. So when you come back from wherever you live, where real estate's most likely blown up in value, you're gonna find that you get more for your money here. I'm, I'm kind of thinking that there's probably gonna be a bit of a boom after the pandemic and, and the initial rush of buyers comes back to Thailand. All right, so that's two places. Now the third one is the one that I, I, I probably gotta win a lottery to win it, but where is that place? The final stop of our real estate tour of Tallingnam is right over there. All right, so we've just come from Hughes, which is way over there. And where have we landed, Andrew? Well, here we are at Villa Bon Sang in the Five Island Estates. Bon Sang, and, and that means House of Light in English. Uh, well, in Thai, uh, House of Light. And man, this is like wow factor times a million. This place is crazy. Tell me about it, man. Well, it's a wonderful uh, villa that my friend Robert built about uh, three years ago. And the interesting point is he's been stuck here, stuck here for COVID. And I can think of much worse places in the world to be stuck, that's, uh, that's for sure. This is definitely one of my favorite villas on the island. We've got four bedrooms, five bathrooms on a two rye plot, and some of the best craftsmanship that I've seen. It's a couple of neat things to notice. Look how all the doors and windows slide into these recessed areas here just so you can really open up the place to get all the light and the breeze in and i've heard robert the the guy who built it's a swimmer so this is a 25 meter long pool it's wonderful to swim and i've actually been swimming in this pool before i'm overwhelmed by the uh, beauty of this place, the build quality, everything. I I'm sure that it's not gonna be the cheapest villa that I've ever seen. But uh, before getting to that, let me just show you around this place. such a abode. Okay, so not only do you get the view of the five islands, not only do you get the high quality build, but this wonderful valley view, you get everything for five million US dollars. Five? But, but sorry to interrupt you, <laughs> but something unique about this is the owner does offer financing. So give him half the money and you can pay the other half of the money later. All right, and if someone was interested in any of these properties, or maybe they're not like a mega baller and they want something in a, in a slightly different price range, how can they contact you? They can contact me by email, 
Andrew J. Farmer at gmail.com. I'm an independent broker on the island, though I do partner with some very wonderful people. I can get you land, uh, condos, houses, businesses, and anything you want. So please uh, get hold of me. I don't know if I want to get a hold of you, but I will thank you, man. This is one of my oldest friends from all the way back in the London, Ontario days. Thanks for showing us around, man. Thanks for coming with me, Chris. And so uh, if you all are interested in real estate on Samui sales rentals, talk to my buddy, Andrew. He knows about these baller places. He also knows about Places in all budget ranges in all parts of the islands, I would imagine. I can take care of anything. He said anything. I'm going to have to cut the camera because I have a special request, but I don't want to film this. Cheers, Carl.